In recent years, physical education teachers and researchers have been increasingly interested in self-regulation. A valuable tool to stimulate students' self-regulation is digital video. Video recordings of prior trials allow students to monitor, asses and, if necessary, adjust their performances in subsequent trials. A study for example, found that the self-assessment of movement technique combined with video feedback and the supporting verbal instructions of a PE teacher enhanced learning a gymnastic skill in a PE setting and decreased the motivation during the learning program. However, the majority of studies addressing self-regulation and feedback have predominantly been carried out in lab-based situations, instead of during real PE lessons. In addition, Previous feedback studies primarily focused on self-controlling the delivery of feedback with the experimenter or teacher typically providing the feedback, instead of further exploiting the functionalities of digital video by also self-regulating the content of feedback. Method A total of 56 participants were included in analyses of the grade 1 secondary school students. None of the students had previous experience with shot putting task and apparatus. The experimental task was to shot a put of 3 kilograms as far as possible using a student or skill level appropriate simplified movement technique. The PE lessons took place outdoors on a field with two sandboxes for shot putting. A measuring tape was used to determine the distance between the putting line and the print of the sh shot in the sand. During pre-dash, post and retention tests, were placed at 5 meter distance to the side of the participant to record movement technique. During practice sessions, students used one of eight iPads to record their launch. A shot put technique rating scale was developed together with a track and field teacher. The rating scale was designed for experimenters to obtain outcome measures, not as a learning tool for participants. The rating scale related to the full movement technique focus points of the practice sessions and was consistent with the movement technique from the expert model. It consisted of a total of nine criteria including posture and movements of the shot put action. A self-efficacy measure was developed by using and adapting guidelines of Bandura. Students were asked to rate their current ability to execute the shot put with the technique resembling the expert model. Procedure the pre-dash, post and retention tests were conducted during regular PE lessons in weeks 1, 8 and 9 of the study, respectively. The lesson started with a general introduction, including a short recap of the study purpose and a warming up. The experimenter instructed the student that the task was to perform three shot puts. After watching the expert model, the student was instructed to shot the put as far as possible by trying to emulate the model's technique. Subsequently, the student completed the self-efficacy questionnaire. Finally, the student performed the three shot puts. Performance was video recorded and the distance put was measured. All groups completed four shot put practice sessions during their PE classes in weeks 2 to 7, with a maximum of one session a week. After the general instruction by the teacher, each of the three experimental groups received different types of modeling and feedback. During practice, the SCVF group received self-controlled video modeling and feedback. The students of the ECVF group were yoked to the students of the SCVF group and received externally controlled video modeling and feedback. In the TG group, the teacher provided visual and verbal guidance in a traditional way, without the help of video recordings. The teacher did not provide any information feedback during the practice of the SCVF and ECVF groups nor did he add any further individualized instruction or demonstration about the shot put technique. Guidance during practice. The table shows the amount of feedback participants in the SCVF ECVF groups obtained per practice session. Feedback frequency gradually decreased from 35% to 10% from practice session one to four. The table also shows the guidance of the PE teacher in the TG. The teacher guidance decreased markedly over the practice sessions, especially for demonstration and instruction. Also, a shift in the type of guidance is shown, with emphasis on demonstration and instruction during practice session 1, instruction during practice session 2 and feedback during practice session 3. Shot put performance. 
The one-way ANOVA showed no significant differences on shot put distance between groups at pretest. The figure shows a clear increase in shot put distance and technique after practice, yet, without differences between groups. Accordingly, the RM ANOVA revealed a significant main effect for test for shot put distance. Post hoc analyses indicated that distances in post and retention tests were higher than in the pretest, but the distances at the post and retention tests did not differ. No significant effects for group and group times test were found. Similarly, a significant main effect for test was found for shot put technique. Post hoc analyses indicated that techniques score at post and retention test was higher than the score at pretest but the scores of the post and retention tests did not differ. No significant effects for group were found. Self-efficacy based on the box plot analysis, one participant was identified as an outlier with respect to self-efficacy during test sessions and was excluded from analyses. The one-way ANOVA showed no significant differences between groups at pretest on self-efficacy. RM ANOVA revealed a significant main effect for test. Post hoc analyses indicated that perceived self-efficacy at post and retention tests was higher than at the pretest, but there was no difference between post and retention tests. No significant effect for group was found. The group times test interaction just failed to reach significance but showed moderate effect size. Yet, in the TG group, post hoc analyses did indicate significant increases from pretest to postist and from pretest to retention test. The SCVF group showed significant increases from pretest to retention test but not from pretest to postist. No significant increases for the ECVF group were found from pretest to postist nor from pretest to retention test. Perceptions towards practice. The one way ANOVA did not return significant group differences in reported perceived enjoyment towards the practice sessions. However, a main effect for group on perceived learning effect was present. Post hoc analyses indicated that the perceived learning effect in the ECVF group was lower than in the SCVF group, 